This second video is to give you a little bit more detail on using Google as a site. Um, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things. We'll start with the Lee's Evidence portfolio that I set up last time. When you go to edit a page, and I will go perhaps to Wellbeing of Aquana, and to edit a page, don't forget, you press the little pen, and you will see that I've set this one up with three a table with three parts. Now, if you want to, you can, of course, add another part to that table. So up there under table, press insert a column, and I'm going to put one on the right, and you can see it pops up there. And I can actually extend it right out to that mark there. So if you want to put extra photographs in or whatever, uh, if you want to delete that column at any, for any reason, you can just check on it and highlight it, go up to the table and choose delete that column and it will disappear. The other thing that I showed you last time was how to insert a photograph or an image, beg your pardon. And so we go to insert an image. I'm going to upload an image and for instance, I'm going to look in the library's pictures, select it and OK. So remember, it's either the original size or you can make it smaller. I might even make that one medium. And if I decide that no, I don't actually want it in that space there, I think I'll take it over there, I can actually move it around on the site. So when you insert it and you think, oh no, that's in the wrong place, you can move it out later. This, In this instance, it's moved outside the table and it's down below there. I might just move it up into the middle one. Right, I might even try adjusting the size of that table, bring it in to that point there, and don't forget, save. Now when you publish it and it doesn't look quite right, you can go back and adjust it again. So now I'm going to show you how to insert a video. Um, click in the space that you want it in, I'll pop it into there, and go to insert, and oops, insert down to YouTube. Now in there you need the URL of the YouTube that you have chosen, which I've chosen beforehand. The video size, I'm going to make it, it says here 400. I'm thinking that size there, probably more. Uh, maybe I'll keep it that size, okay. Um, and include a border, include the title. This is my introduction. And save it. But you can see there that it is ready to go. And so press that save. And there it is, embedded in that spot. Now I don't really like the look of that. It's a little bit unbalanced. And so this is the time when I can go back in to the page. Let's go back down to the editing button at the top. And I'm going to actually grab hold of that picture there and move it over into that spot there. Um, I think that will look fine. I'll be able to delete that empty space there. And... Now I have the YouTube over this side. So when I save it, you can see it looks a little bit more balanced now. So the next thing I want to show you is how to change the privacy settings of your site. It may be that you've decided that you don't want anyone to look at your site. Uh, and we can have a look at all of this by going to manage the site down there. Um, sharing and permissions is actually the bit that you want to go into. But if you go into Manage Site, you will come across sharing and permissions just underneath that anyway. So here's all of the general information about the site. When we go to Sharing and Permissions, it will bring up another page that says, here's the link to share the site. If you want to, you can publish it on um, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Anyone on the internet can find and view your site at the moment. It may be that you want to change that so that it's just specific people or just take that off and save it like that. 
and at the moment just me I'm the only one who can access it when I've decided who my or when uh, my appraiser has been appointed I can actually press the change and add their name to the list of people who can can view it so I could decide that to share it with that person and so they can edit it or they could actually view it as well if I go a bit further they could just view it if I like and press send I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to go ahead with that what I want to do is to make my site visible to everyone so I'm changing that back make it public on the web and save now you'll notice when you're on this sharing and permissions page that there's also over here next to the gear wheel a enable page level permissions and that means that you can show your site or parts of it in other words you can give people certain permissions to look at certain pages so once you click on that it will actually warn you don't um, do this unless you've um, got an idea on how it works so we turn on the page level permissions and what happens it shows all of the pages so it may be that I decide yes I want just that one there the professional relationships and you can see at the moment it says use the same permission and members as the whole site and I can change that to custom users to that particular page so it's very very specific I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to change any um, of the permissions on my pages but that's a useful thing if you feel that there's stuff in there you don't want to share you can make it make it as private or as public as you like so that's a really cool function of Google and for the last bit today I'm going to show you how to change the images uh, I've got this image of Pukiha Momo up behind there so I want to change it I um, my particular school is not that one so what I do is go to edit no manage the site again sorry and this remember is where we found the themes colors and fonts click on that and now our site headed header um, I have got a image there and you can see that I've got it chosen as um, Pukiha more and more I want to cancel that and I'm going to actually click on there and choose a different header the headers have to be sized up a, a little bit before you install them uh, before you put them in site because um, they should be about the same site so I've got a cropped picture there of mountains uh, maybe I'll use that one there and say open that one and you can see it's actually probably still a little bit too big for that particular space but it looks okay so I'm going back to the website and here's my final product the website with the picture changed so that's where you go and change all of your themes and fonts in that very same place some people have asked me what kind of things do you put in your e-portfolio it's very specific to what you're trying to show so when you have a portfolio it is collect select project and reflect so you collect all of the artifacts that you want to put in it it could be videos it could be voice threads it could be um, photographs or just plain text and you Put it into your portfolio now I've just given you um, just a couple of my pages here so that you can have a look collected a few bits and pieces and that are relevant so you select what is relevant and in this one I was doing an inquiry about um, being culturally responsive and so I collected things together um, that were relevant and on this other page that I'm showing you this one was about um, how do I use blended uh, blended professional learning approaches so I talked about how I make videos tutorials and set up a blog and so on so it's very um, 
specific to what purpose you're wanting it for. The um, reflecting, it's important in your portfolio that you make reflections on what you're putting in there, what have you learned from it in other words, and finally project it, in other words put it out there for the people that you want to put it out there for, um, and that's where that privacy um, issue comes in and you are sharing it with just the people that you want to.